I'm Evo Taz and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. If you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Not asking for much. No donations, nothing like that. Just sub. And watch the video. That's it. Alright, we gotta go all the way around. Just so we can get over there. We'll take a chocobo right to the quest marker. Side missions don't really take too long. I think more time in the uh, in all the dialogue than anything else. Just because I don't want to skip it. Let's go. Time to brave the viper's nest. Just you, is it? Hmm. I thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. How do they control those... Dogs. Leave now, or we can pretend this didn't happen. And did I miss them? I did. Wish we had something that would pull them all into us. We have casters. We're on the grind to get about another 4,000 AP. Oh, you've done it now. Go on. Tell me what I've done. When the Borquin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you, anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well, go on, then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone, before I change my mind. Fucking coward! I need to find Goots. Right now. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! Well, that will be easy enough, for they are not lies. Every last word is true. 
and she must pay for her crimes in blood. Blood! Goose, are you all right? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan. He said she had to pay in blood. After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you, only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her, or I'll... or I'll... or I'll kill you myself! Goot, no. Enough, all of you! Karen. Well, how did you? <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking, who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in me fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, won't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense, but I see you're the same pants pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. You. You. Bitch. Everything that happened. It was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. Goose, you. If you want a piece of Nan. You'll have to go through me. Fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, sir. Uh, wise words. And now... It's time to collect. No! I can't! No! Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean it. Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same route. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry, lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but what if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. Ta-ra, Clive! Remind me never to cross you, Karen. Well, she made fun of him. And... Because I... Okay, we got one quest there but the other thing is we can actually do all the other quests now as well so 
we'll leave this one. We'll head over to number two. Actually, this one. Go do that. Wow. We're far away. Alright. No fast travel then either. Okay, we gotta cut through. Got the other side. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Kinda chilling, playing. Kinda get in as much of this as I can before I head out for vacation. I'm gonna take a week or so off. In a couple of days, uh, wind down, clear my mind a bit, you know, figure out what I'm going to do with, uh, with this YouTube stuff as well. Just seems to be kind of stagnant, although I don't want to stop. I would like to have a little success at least, right? With, uh, hitting the threshold, you know, a thousand subs and. Getting the watch hours and all that good stuff. Apocrity said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Right there. Bright blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough to spot. This must be our wyvern. All right. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Oh, come on, I got that. Nice. I missed him. I needed that. Every time I do that, I think I've got the other skill of the Rising Flames one. I actually like that as an attack. Oh, what is Toggle doing with the laser beam attack? The AP for that it took two or three minutes, I guess. That's the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. I see them in the corner. Really? Have to actually be physically facing that way. I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her recipe. Better head back. So I'm thinking if we come back here, we could probably redo that fight again. Like it's always there. But AP was kind of low, unfortunately. I need multiple enemies that die to my Phoenix Fire one shot. Wait. 
in Rutherford and Martha's Rest. On this level. Oh, there he is. My lord, Marcus, is that... It is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your lord uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's all right. Continue. I am here at Martha's Rest, at the behest of your lord uncle, tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord, uncle, uh, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate, and is determined to see it set in motion. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the Seven High Houses. Alas. Alas. I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword, yet in these dark times even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic, the other the old Imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose... I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. That doesn't sound like we've got that area. Oh, he said dollar mill and work eat. Probably towards this, but look. Everything ends up back in dollar mill. Okay, we're gonna head south. It's going to be easy finding one man in an entire republic. Let's hope someone here has seen something. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm taking a vacation, just uh, chilling a little bit, and um, rethinking things, seeing if I can, there's other ways I can do things to improve the content and such, but, I don't know, I always wanted to just play games, and if people are like-minded, they would join me and, you know, watch them together, or play through them together, or give each other advice. Kind of what I was looking for, but Let's go. unfortunately, it's you know, people making playthroughs and gameplay videos and, and stuff like that. In trouble. I've always been around for a long time, and those people that are established seem to have the population. Unfortunately, I don't see your master here, so you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> and maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please! These men are trying to rob me! I'll deal with this. Thank you. You that one's master, then. <laughs> if you kindly pay the cornios us, 
We can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. <laughs> If I got them all. Oh, I didn't. Uh, that's not Togo using the fire, that's um, the Phoenix guy, Joshua. I'd expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. But I arrived in Dunhamill several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more. And his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free. Only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked. Answering to no one but themselves. Then it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. I'll find a caravan heading north. Uh, you won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? Not at all. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at North Reach and see if I can pick up his trail. Okay, so that hasn't ended. We're over here again. There's a lot of road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. Man, there we go. I was literally two steps away from getting my choke away and it wouldn't let me use it. Run like the wind. Be safe. What happened here? If you're with the others. They've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I am Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh... Yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, toward the gate. All right. I'll take care of them. Founder knows I've met enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach. Visit the Vale. Tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Thank
Pounder be your shield. He okay, would just run down there. And a uh, Phoenix pack isn't up. They just couldn't resist, could they? This one's ours. Like, oh, you look. Oh my god, I was too far away from them anyway. Do a lot of damage to a single target. Damn it, got it too early. counter-attack. Look at that fist up there. Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the Ducal Throne. It's just Clive, and I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a Bastolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one piece. Hey, Martha's rest. Damn it. Let's zoom out. Go. Yeah, the game definitely feels better with motion blur off. To me, anyway. I see you're still here. The 
West's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. I am afraid that grim would be putting it lightly. Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish, as it is mine. It's complete. Go hand these in. Way P. Well, let's hand these ones in. Get back to the main mission. Plan. Seems the hideaway's lost its appetite. So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wyvern liver. And, uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. And here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honour than partaking in a slice of culinary history? <coughs> so, not fit for consumption then. What? What witchery is this? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force, a force of nature even, a maelstrom of flavor and sensation, a graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. I think he likes it. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith? I'll give it some thought. Yes, they're not bad. Not a bad fight to get AP from. Blue back wyverns. Maybe that board over there has a way that we can farm AP as well. Quickly. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul a gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whip for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Oh, well, I will. 
If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again, and you can't stop me. Why, you big lump? Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as may be. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dallamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. Quest complete. Eye for an eye. Again, no AP. What the hell? Continental sense. These side missions aren't really worth it. I don't know. I just do it because I don't know what the rewards are and Let hoping that we get AP story, though. Clive. All right. Them rumours wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there was a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day... One day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He was true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. He told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint gill. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest damn in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. Not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. I don't really care for that. I just wanted to get some potions. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. That's that great lump. No. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. I guess just you one can't potion. Find a better price than that. Is that all? Right, and before we head off to the main mission. We get enough see that reward on the AP from it. Ed. How may I help you today, Clive? Come to claim your just desserts. Great. Eighteen hundred AP. There you are. Best of luck out there, Sid. Hey, let's get going. If we look a bow, I think we also will. Oh my god. Come on.
Not gonna bother going out of the way. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Doesn't seem Assuming like it's worth it. it. The echoes have a will of their own. Look at that, three pinches of magic to ash, is it worth it? Again, do we even need to attack these enemies? It might be good to take B. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong willed, loyal. Gotta be something. Deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Gotten so many sharp fangs, it's not even worth hopping for it. Yeah, I'm gonna stop for this. Be safe. You're injured. Take that away. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp. While we slept, my own men did this. Turned every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand a chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... <laughs> Hoko, you catch your breath. Thank you. Our encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. <laughs> they must not... Reach Tabor. Forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. Dying words were to a guy that would be angry and dead. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna get on the horse. Ready, go. We'll get off of it as soon. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. That loot. Good. I got here in time. Oh, they're not all gonna die, I don't think. Nope, that guy's dead. Bad point, pretty straightforward. If I can start off and get my AoEs down, it usually gets rid of a lot of the enemies. Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg! That doesn't sound like an Akashic. Come on, a single chest or piece of loot I can pick up? There's the chest. Okay, yeah, we gotta find this dude, I guess. There he is. You're with the battalion? I am. 
I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? <laughs> tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. In no AP. Bit annoying, but at least we're getting renown and XP. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Oh, Sid, I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kuka shall be avenged! Hmm. Your wounds have healed and your head has cooled. Come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes, you are an outlaw, a murderer, not some, <laughs> some man like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not going to kill me, then go. Leave. Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. No, oh, thanks. Saved his life and stuff. Yes, the agents were strong. Okay, let's have a look. Come on. Run like the wind. Right like the wind. Why? Not even worth it. One steel silk. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Back to the stables, girl. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. This looked like an open area. I thought there might be a fight. Welcome, welcome. Seeing what this guy's got.
My Lord Marquess, it is an honour. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened howls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Quite. How dare you? Distinguished members of the council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king is come to save us from the Akashic. A gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs>
Enough. still here, somewhere in the city, her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then. How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apolitry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? Uh, by all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Well, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote.
Let's find our friends. She cares for you very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. 